Hello friends, I got this DVD player along with a 7 inch LCD display from a friend of mine and this DVD player is not in working condition. So today in this video I am going to show you how we can repair this DVD player. This DVD player has an USB port and switch on and off button and analog video output and analog video input and a headphone jack for connecting a headphone here and it also supports SD card and MMC and here is the 12 volt supply input so we can connect the output of our 12 volt 2 amp adapter to this jack and here this is TV antenna so it also supports TV and here is the DVD lens and here is the spindle motor and here are some buttons volume plus volume minus volume plus is for increasing the volume and volume minus is for decreasing the volume level and here is the power button to turn on the power and here is the mode button to select some function and here is a menu button and setup button and this is for changing the music track or pause or stop the playing audio or video track and here are the cursor keys and here is the enter button so let's open its case This DVD player is based on MT1389VD video chip which is always used in such kind of DVD players with an LCD display or LED display. And I do not have uh, this kind of power supply adapter so I am using this DC jack to supply the power to this DVD player and here is the button that press when we close the cap of this DVD player but uh, my DVD player do not have cap so I am using an another switch to load the DVD disc.
for this we need some tools soldering flux soldering wire and a soldering iron and a multimeter you can see that this jack can fit in this pin softly so i am using this dc jack and here is no slot for it in this case so i have just cut out an indentation here to fix this dc jack here so we can easily connect our power supply cable to this dc jack to supply the power let's open its main board and remove this gst connectors carefully and open the lock here to remove this lens ribbon and here is the motherboard of this dvd player and here is the power supply wire this black is the ground and this brown wire is the plus 12 volt wire it also have an ir sensor but i do not have its remote 